Sex Pot Comedy, collaborative, community-driven comedy from Denver, Colorado. Now and then, here and there, and always at sexpotcomedy.com. Sex Pot Comedy, how, how, what made you guys start this? Man, what, what was the whole idea behind it? We're starting off heavy, bud. Hey, man. Um, That's how we do. <laughs> Sex Pot was actually created um, because of failed attempts at advertising in the westward and just being sick of being in a, a sea of phone book, uh, honestly. Um, we had put an ad in for Sexy Pizza. It was a quarter page, and I don't know, probably $900 for the week. Maybe their distribution is 120000 I don't know what it is. It's a lot. Um, put a coupon in there, and you think you're going to get something back. That many thousands, tens of thousands, got three coupons back. And I said, there has to be a better way to spend this kind of money, $900 a week, um, to get really no return. So at the time, I'd, I'd, I'd been going up to uh, the Deer Pile quite a bit to watch uh, Too Much Fun and got to know Sam and Nate and uh, Bobby and, and, uh, and Sharpie and, and Matt Monroe at Propaganda. I started going to that show a lot. And both of them, uh, very fortuitous timing came up and, and asked if we wanted to throw a little money at their shows. And what they were asking for was a hell of a lot less over the course of a month uh, than this one ad in the Westward was, this quarter page ad. And it was nothing that you could quantify. There was no coupon to be turned in. There was nothing that, um, you know, you could, you could look at and, and say, yes, definitively, this is working. Um, but you just felt that people appreciated uh, ultimately the fact that you were supporting something that they liked that made it free for them. Um, that was exciting and in their neighborhood. Uh, that's something they didn't need to travel from, travel far from. And I don't know, it, it builds a base, I think, that's a little stronger uh, when you get into advertising and supporting people and their initiatives, uh, especially through art. Uh, yeah. that's, that's, that's one that's really close to me. But being able to, to offer that support to, to someone, their, their support back is pretty unending and, and really strong, really powerful. Um, I think like what Jim does here at Mutiny is a good example of that as well. Uh, give a shout out to him. And there are some <clears throat> some people in, in Denver that are very like-minded uh, with that as well. You look at Illegal Pete's and uh, City of City. Uh, we've got a pretty pretty creative uh, community of business owners uh, here that really understand that that's where they came from. That's what they appreciate. Those are their friends. That's what they do. Yeah. And that it just it, it builds something bigger than just having a bottom line. Um, having money or not having money it's it's more than a business and that's why i work so much i think it's it's being being able to find my social life my love life my everything inside my work so and how many how many shows do y'all have right now i think with sex spot we have between uh 35 and 45 probably a month um that we have some affiliation with and <laughs> should really stress that this isn't like a, you know, like sex pot produces this stuff. Sex pot's a collective of people that do their own thing and we simply support them when we can. And that's the big, I think the biggest misconception of what people think about sex pot. They look at it as being a, a you know, like this corporate thing to an extent. It's, it's not. The corporations would be pissed at how much money I throw into this and lose every month. Um, <laughs> It, it, you know, it, it goes back to why we started SexPod. It's it's a it's a marketing outlet for our businesses. So Denver Relief and Sexy Pizza are putting money into SexPod, putting money into Birdie mm -hmm. instead of putting it in to, uh, to to the Westward or some of these less uh, personal uh, sponsorships. And I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know <laughs> what the fucking question was, honestly. <laughs> I told you I was going to go off in tangents, especially when you. Hmm. I was just over here laughing and watching you watching you walk away. It was just kind of. It was see you later. <laughs> and like there it goes. All right, let's see where it goes now. Um, so now I'm sorry. We have 35, uh, 45 shows a month. Um, <laughs> <laughs> try to try to uh, try to do them at independent venues, um, which I think is part of the the aesthetic, the the community of it all. We don't uh, do a lot with um, you know some of the larger corporate entities, whether they be sponsors or venues. And we try to keep it to the Bug Theater, Oriental Theater, uh, Mutant Information Cafe, High Dive, um, all these places that uh, are run by small business owners like myself. And it's really fun to support those folks back. 
Yeah, that's dope, man. This has been a sex pot comedy joint. Collaborative, community driven comedy produced by Andy Jewett and Kayvon Kalitvari. Headquartered in Denver, Colorado, with technical support from Isaac Miller. Every day at sexpotcomedy.com or at a show near you. Until next time, be well, friends.